now the big story we are tracking from Uttar Pradesh this morning. The news uh, in the uh, UP police in the news for all the wrong reasons. This time for physically assaulting a woman in Aligarh. Two days ago, mothers who had gone to the Kwarsi police station in the Aligarh district demanded the release of their children who had been uh, taken in by the police for stealing jewelry and gas cylinders. They went to actually ask their children uh, for to be released by the police. But this is what followed. Well, what you can see on your screen are shots of the sub-inspector in the police uh, station at Kwarsi slapping some of those women who uh, went there demanding the release of their children. The children, of course, we believe, uh, are some of them as young as 12 years old. There are seven of them. They've been sent to a correctional facility in Mathura. No action has been taken against the woman officer you see in those images, Bharti Singh, nor the station officer, Satinder Kumar Singh, as well. Uh, an investigation at the local level has been ordered into uh, those uh, incidents that have taken place over there. Well, my colleague Anand Zanane now joins me for much more on this. Anand, uh, you've been tracking this story. We're talking about the Uttar Pradesh police constantly being in the dock for all the wrong reasons. Those images we've seen, uh, fairly troubling for that woman uh, police officer to actually be slapping some of the group of women who went there demanding the release of their children. Well, yes, Maya, indeed very disturbing images that we are seeing on our television screens. And uh, there are two versions to this particular event and how these circumstances unfolded uh, themselves on uh, a Wednesday when this incident took place. Now, uh, the, what we are hearing is that these women, a group of about 20 to 30 odd of them, went to the police station because their children had been detained by the police on Monday for charges of theft of jewellery and gas cylinders. And uh, they said that their children were innocent and they were being framed in these particular cases. The police said that they have recovered this jewellery and gas cylinders from the custody of these children, which is why there was compelling evidence to act against them and detain them. Now, uh, the women say uh, that they landed at the police station and they tried to negotiate with the policemen over there. And uh, that's when things went horribly wrong. The police say that they were abused by these women uh, and uh, they were also, there was also some kind of a minor scuffle that broke out between the mothers and uh, the policemen present at the police station, which is why we see Bharti Singh, the sub-inspector, actually going ahead and slapping some of these women, which uh, the local police, the police station posted at that uh, police station, uh, the police posted at the police station are justifying as action which was necessary to, in a way, uh, you know, establish some sense of law and order in and around the police station. Now, uh, the district SP has not in any way whatsoever justified what has happened. He's saying that he's ordered a probe and uh, he's saying that uh, the SP city will conduct this probe and get to the bottom of why this really happened. Was it necessary for Bharti Singh, the sub-inspector, to actually right. go ahead and slap these women? Right. Because they said that they were trying to force themselves inside Anand, the police but very station. Quickly, but seen... time and again, Maya, we see... We see the, exactly what you are saying. We yeah. see these incidents taking place in Uttar Pradesh time and again. Uh, local investigations are ordered. Sometimes the state government gets involved as well. But beyond that, what? These incidents just repeat themselves time and again. Well, yes, that may seem as tokenism, as you pointed out, Maya, that whenever these incidents happen, we see inquiries being ordered, inquiries not being adequately followed up. We saw an advisory that came in from the ADJ Law and Order just a few days ago after another similar incident took place in Aligarh in which uh, the parents of a rape victim who had been brutally killed were beaten up by the police station. So those advisories followed after that particular incident saying right. that the police should be more sensitive. They should uh, live up to the uh, expectations of the people in terms of handling and dealing with them. Right. Those advisories clearly seem to have not trickled down right to the level of the police station. So clearly that not. is something that the police, uh, the UP police needs to really think seriously about and act on. Right, Anand, thanks very much uh, for joining us. As Anand said, advisories, many of them have been uh, sent out to local police officials, but none of them really seem to uh, be falling on ears that will listen. And we see incidents like what we've seen on our screens just now repeat themselves time and again. We'll, of course, keep tracking that story as it hots up in Uttar Pradesh.